Hello Sparkle Squad, this is Monica and I wanted to do a little follow up here on the video I just recorded about how to make an Etsy banner for your shop and you could use either Photoshop or several free graphics programs that I outline in that video. I wanted to come on and do a follow up as far as how to then upload said graphic to your shop for those of you that may not be familiar. So if you're either creating your own cover photo which is what this large photo is here or if you're making a profile icon for your shop you're going to have to access the edit shop in order to update either your icon or your cover photo or whatever it is that you're trying to personalize so for the cover photo that i did the 3360 by 840 pixels i need to come in here and change out the old cover photo for the new one that i just created so i'm going to click on edit shop and this is, of course, after I have logged into my actual shop. Now, you can see that I get a lot of little squiggly lines here on the perimeter of the shop. And then I get a lot of these little pencil icons. So since I'm talking about doing the new cover photo, I want to click on the pencil icon here to the far right that gives me the little kind of squiggly lines or dotted lines around that old cover photo. So click the pencil icon. It gives me the option to change my layout. So I'm going to hit change layout. It gives you the option to use a big banner, a mini banner, none. You can do an, uh, the upgrade if you're on one of the paid Etsy plans, which I'm not, but it does have a, a cool option to do a carousel or collage. So you can see it gives you the sizes over here as far as like what your minimum image should be. Now, those of you that saw my previous video see that I'm using the big banner and that is a 33, 3360 by 840 size which shows very nicely on all of the platforms but you've got to be careful if it goes to a mobile phone or another device that the bulk of your information that you want people to see is here in the, the middle. That is another reason why I mentioned it's not a good idea to have a text intensive kind of an image. Now the image that I'm using is because of how I want to relay said information to my my audience here on this digital graphic shop. So if I click the mini banner it gives you another option. It just pushes your listings further up the page which might be ideal if you are you know selling a product like your jewelry or soaps or candles or whatever and you don't really need to have a big banner at the top. You can go for none which just gets rid of the whole thing and that might be ideal for those of you again who don't care to have any kind of a visual explanation of your branding at the top you just want to flat boom move right into the products that you're selling now the other options it won't let me click because I do not have that paid membership um, for Etsy's upgrade that they have now I'm going to click on the big banner say done now it gives me the option to add the image I've got to go to where I saved that image which if you have a slow computer connection you might have it buffer for a little bit in the rural internet land of Kentucky, as I've mentioned on my Crafty Creators channel. For anyone that might be in my same predicament or fixing to be, you might be interested in my four-part series that I have posted about moving from Texas to Kentucky and having to deal with satellite internet options, wireless internet options, fixed wireless, <laughs> all kinds of issues. put the link in my description below if you're interested in that. So now you see here is my new image that I just updated via Photoshop and this is all fitting in nicely. It's easier for me to see now because I did add some outlining on all of the text that I have. I have got my shop name here on the little computer which I thought was cute and then I have the main focus for anyone that sees it on a different device is right here in the center and it says digital downloads. Now this is a lot easier to see. I liked how I changed my little circle label here and kind of picked up some of the other colors that were in it, like from the laptop and the purple shirt that I was wearing. So to me, this looks like a better graphic for my shop. 
because it is a digital download shop, I wanted to be able to have it with the clip art, avatars, a lot of text, so that people can see, you know, the colorful types of things that I would be able to offer, but also to get an idea of the types of artists that I work with in the clip art that is available. So this is something that I am good with. I'm going to come down here to the bottom and say save. And once I do that, then it, it should go live on my shop, which it does. Once I get the opportunity, I'm going to be updating my profile icon for the shop. But until then, I'm going to just keep this banner here now that's uploaded. So let's go over here to my actual shop. Etsy Sparklymon Downloads. This is what it looks like live. You can see... Everything is very large. It's got the drop shadows that I've added now on my little graphics, so it kind of pops up a little bit more. Now, yes, this is very colorful. This is very busy. You might like a much simpler design. You might not be in to clip art per se in this in the sense of your persona or having an avatar maybe you just want to have text you know all of these are personal preferences you can go as simple as you like you can go as busy as you like it could be neutral you can go very colorful you can have warm tones you can have cool tones whatever it is that you like that is personal preference wanted to show you how easy it is. Now I have my cover photo. It's all updated. It looks very nice. If I wanted to then come on and look at it via a mobile device, I could do that and it's going to just show right here in the very middle. So it's still going to see a little bit of my avatar. My Sparkly Mon digital downloads and it may pick up some of the words over here in the center. So either way it's going to show the overall gist across multiple devices and if at some other point I decide that I want to change it up I always can do that of course. If you have any questions for me if you would like to see the specifics and how I do all of the layering with all of these different uh, text elements, image elements, and, and drop shadows and all that, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do a tutorial where I'm using Photoshop in order to create my banners. Just let me know what you think in uh, regards of your own personal style preference for your Etsy shop. I would be interested to hear what you think, and if you would like to see any future tutorials or whatnot, please let me know in the comments below. Please give me a like on this video if you enjoyed this content and would like to see future videos on this channel. Share this with any of your friends that might be interested in how to change their Etsy banner. Thank you so much for watching and have a sparkle day y'all. Bye!